Theresa May's mansion house speech was pretty good, but I'd like to add one thing to it. That is a sensible fisheries policy. You see, the fact is that 80% of the fish caught in British waters is caught by non-British ships. The common fisheries policy reduced our zone from uh, 200 miles to 12 miles, and we have to allow unlimited fishing within that 200 mile area. Technical advances mean that trawlers are now capable of catching more fish than they used to. Indeed, it's estimated that we're catching roughly twice as much as is sustainable in, in, in those waters. Um, Coupled with this, we have an absolutely incompetent EU conservation policy. It sets total allowable catches, and if you exceeded your quota of, say, cod, if you took it back to port, you'd face a very heavy fine if you'd exceeded your quota, so people dumped it overboard. And it was estimated in some years that 50% of the total edible fish catch was being dumped in the waters. This is absurd. When we have chance to reclaim our territorial waters, we'll be able to institute a policy similar to that done by Iceland. Now, in Iceland, Maritime Council sets allowable catches and they're assigned to boats as tradable quotas. So if an Icelandic skipper catches too much cod, he doesn't take it back to port and get fined, he rings up one of his mates and buys more quota. And Iceland has been brilliantly successful at conserving and renewing its fish stocks. We should do the same. So firstly, we go for that 200 mile limit. Secondly, no fishing there except by our specific permit. And three, we institute an Icelandic policy of tradable quotas.